Hey guys, Ethan Way here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm bringing you guys yet another episode of my FIFA 19 Team of the Season Market Update Series. And today, of course, we're going to be looking at all the different player prices, meta gold cards, special cards, and icons, seeing how they've fluctuated over the past few days. I'll be talking about what's going to happen to those player prices in the next couple of weeks with Team of the Season and answering a few frequently asked questions from previous episodes as well. But firstly, I want to thank the sponsors of today's video, Aniba.com. They sell cheap games and so is like Xbox Live and PSN at really good prices. You can check out the link down below and you can use my discount code ETOA to get some further money off your purchases. And with your first purchase, you'll actually get a euro bonus for every 10 euros you spend as well. So check them out. Thanks for the sponsorship from them. And let's get straight into it. So we're going to start with the meta gold cards. And Cristiano Ronaldo is, as always, the first one. And he's super cheap right now. Look at this. There's ones at 900k. Now, what we saw was when EA released their announcement for Team of the Season and the voting, there wasn't a huge amount of hype. And players actually increased in price in some cases. But look at this. We're now getting Ronaldo's under 900k for the first time this year. I believe he was around 950k um, after that announcement. But now that Team of the Season is getting super, super close, it's only a couple of days away. People are selling these cards like crazy. If anyone's still sat on players like this, they're selling them. And with the Weekend League having finished as well, people were selling their cards there. We had a slightly delayed Weekend League too, so it went on a little bit longer than normal. Um, and uh, people are just panic selling like crazy. So Ronaldo is very, very cheap. And with Team of the Season coming on Friday, we've got rewards tomorrow morning. So you'll see a little bit of a dip when all the packs come out. Although I think a lot of people will probably be saving them for Team of the Season. Then some of these cards may rise slightly simply because of Weekend League. Some people may be buying their teams to play in the weekend league but I think with team of the season it won't have a huge impact I think we saw a lot of people selling their players following that last weekend league because it was the last one before team of the season so that's why we had this big dip in price here so Ronaldo is super super cheap Messi I expect is very cheap as well um, not many people use Messi this year but he's down at like 400k uh, Neymar I imagine is also very cheap yeah he's under 200k for the first time this year so we've seen a big big uh, dip in price on these players after an, an initial recovery when EA first made that announcement which confused a lot of people had a lot of comments from people saying that um, it didn't have the effect that I said it would that wasn't what I was talking about when I said um, that uh, like the first announcement from EA would cause a big market crash. I think I've I've been saying over the past few episodes. You guys may remember I've said whenever EA release a loading screen, that's when we're going to have a big market crash. And I want to see actually because now is Wednesday, so we've got two days to go till team of the season. I want to see because I said on Wednesday is probably when they're going to do a, a loading screen. I just want to quickly see if we now have a team of the season kind of something hinting towards team of the season, maybe blue cards or something. No, we actually don't. So that's weird. I expect we'll have it tomorrow. I expect it's going to be tomorrow. Or we may just not have it at all. I don't know. But I think if EA do actually uh, put, put like a loading screen here saying team of the season in 24 hours or something, which they'll, they'll probably do tomorrow, I think we're going to see um, the hype levels go up and players are going to drop down even more. We also have some big SBCs. We had um, the Premium Champions League SBC, so you'll see a lot of the Champions League cards got because of that. Some of the, the like 83s and 84s. And then also we had uh, Ribery with a flashback item, which I think is going to be fairly popular. Abamyang, super cheap as well. Like All these cards here are now at the lowest point they've been this year. Like Someone like Alexandro, who's always kind of been like 50, 60, 70k, been very, very meta. He's now down as like one of the cheapest 86s. Even Varane. Varane is 25k. Like This is by far and away the cheapest these cards have been all year. They've taken a really, really big hit in the past couple of days. Like Varane's gone down by about 10k since the last episode because um, he recovered slightly. He was down at like 32, 33. He went up to about 35 and now he's all the way down. I expect icons. Yeah, they're super cheap. Best, this is a prime moment card, one of the best players on the game in his position. He's down at uh, just over 1.6 million. Johan Cruyff, this is the prime version, obviously, uh, under 1.7, which is insanely cheap. And then if you look at the, the mid icons and the baby icons, I mean, look at this. Stoichkov was about 500k at the beginning of this series, which was about a week or two ago. He's down at like 400k now, which for a player of his caliber is insane. And then you've got like the baby icons, even the good ones like Ferdinand, down at like 300k. And then the bad ones, Katuso, for example, these are down at like 260. It is insane. These icons have never been anywhere near this cheap. So it's the lowest point for all of these cards there. And they can still go a lot 
lot lower. So to answer two questions, one is should you buy your players now? And the answer to that simply is no. Players still have much lower to go in price when Team of the Season is released. I think it's down to how patient you want to be and how many coins you really want to save. You can buy during the most consistent or the Premier League Team of the Seasons, get your players earlier at good prices, but naturally players will drop in price more as more Team of the Seasons are released. So if you want to get your players at a slightly better price, you can wait until the best of Team of the Season when they may be like... 10 20% cheaper but obviously you have to wait like a month to buy those cards so it depends really how long you want to wait and how many coins you really want to save like if you can't quite afford the mega team you want right now but you can during let's say the premier league team of the season when the market will be low then you can go ahead and buy your team then um, but maybe if you still can't afford that you can wait until like uh, the very end of the team of the season when players are just going to be insanely, insanely cheap. But the most consistent, I don't think, is going to have a huge impact on the market. Yeah, we will see a fairly uh, significant drop in price, but it's not going to be as big as for the bigger leagues. Just because there's less hype about the most consistent, there aren't many good players likely to be in there. But when we get the Premier League and La Liga and the Serie A, all of those really big, like 96, 97, 98, and even 99 race players, that's when we'll have a much bigger um, dip in price on the market. Champions League cards are so cheap, honestly. They're so, so cheap because we had the marquee matchup like a couple of days ago, which gave out three tradable Champions League packs. So, so many of these cards got packed and they just plummeted. Like, these cards all lost like 20 or 30% in their value. Um, team of the Knockout Stage cards and like Team of the Group Stage cards, they're so cheap. Like, this is honestly crazy. They're very, 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 very cheap. And it's because of the SBC we've got right now which gives these cards out as untradables, but anyone with a tradable version is just selling them anyway now because of that. Um, and also because the normal Champions League cards, these ones here, are now like um, so, so cheap and so common. A lot of the team of the group stage cards especially, so like Alba and people like that, have very similar stats anyway. And given the very comparable blue card is very cheap because of this SPC that's being given out loads of those types of cards, uh, the similar team of the group stage or team of the knockout stage card is also dropping down. Um, Ultimate Screams are irrelevant now, so they're very cheap, like no one's using them. Um, Road to the Finals are also extremely cheap, apart from obviously the ones that um, are still in the Champions League. Like Fabinho went up by like three or 400k last night, Van Dyke went up by a good amount, uh, Suarez crashed, PK, I don't really know, he'll have gone down a bit, I assume, but. Um, no one really uses PK. And then it will be interesting to see tonight. Like Obviously, if Spurs go through, uh, if Spurs score or anything, you're going to see Aurier shoot up in price because he's very, very popular. Um, I'm not sure if they have. I think Davinson Sanchez is another one they have. He'll rise up um, if we have anything uh, anything in the Spurs game with them scoring or potentially showing signs of going through. Obviously, if they take the lead and they go like 3-0 up, then those cards are just going to fly. Uh, and likewise, the same happens. Like If Ajax go 1-2-0 up, you'll see Tagliafico rise a nice amount of price, but then also they'll crash if the other thing happens. So let's say Spurs are winning, you'll see Tagliafico drop in price. Um, but whichever team's looking like it's going to get through, you're going to see their cards um, in turn rise in value. Um, the ones to watch is, honestly, these are so cheap. This is crazy. Jao Cancelo is arguably the best right back on the game, and he's under 100k. This is a ones to watch dynamic item, so that's insane. Like, the market has taken a huge, huge hit out of nowhere. It was, what, Monday when EA released um, the first information about team of the season? Prices increased a little bit, and now it's Wednesday, and they've just completely crashed so much. Um, Discord price informs have a little bit of value now because of SPCs people are completing. Team of the years are just losing value like there's no tomorrow. Um, well, there is a tomorrow. That's why they're losing value because they're going to have team of the season cards soon, which are going to be similar statistically, and they're going to be better and uh, just up more vary options. Like Instead of Kante, you are now going to have like... Um, maybe Fabinho, maybe Fernandinho, or definitely Fernandinho. Other team of the season cards, maybe Pogba as well, that people can try out for probably much, much lower prices. Um, then these cards here, the future stars, they're all crashing as well. Apart from in the very, very rare cases where some of them have recovered slightly just because they weren't included in the most consistent. I think Artur is one of them who hasn't crashed as much, but he still crashed just because a lot of people thought he could... Actually, not him. He's got an inform. There were, there were one or two. I'm not sure, entirely sure which ones. Um, I think Ndombele, um, but he's got an SPC. So actually, yeah, I think basically all the future stars are just crashing down because a lot of them will get team of the seasons, which will end up being better anyway. 
Headliner cars are crashing because the thing with headliners is they're really good players, so pretty much all of them will get team of the season cars. Um, and that obviously means that, like, if they're getting team of the seasons, the headliner will no longer be the best version of it on the game. And that's the whole point of headliners right now. They're the best version of the card. They're like a ones to watch, but they stay one ahead of the inform. Uh, Man of the Matches flew up because we had a weekly objective with them, but then just crashed down and they're back into uh, just being obscure or relevant cards now that no one uses. And then Informs are also crashing just because they're going to have better versions around the corner with Team of the Season and in some cases like with Player of the Year, Young Player of the Year with Mbappe as well. So... Obviously, as, as I've said, the market is just so, so low, but it can get a lot, lot lower because we still have lots of team of the seasons to come. So if you guys are wondering when to buy your players, you don't need to do that now. Yeah, you can get players super cheap now, and if you want to just go and buy your team now, feel free. You will be getting it at a good price, but if you want to hold out and get your team cheaper, wait, because I guarantee players are just going to be so much cheaper. And I always get comments from people saying, should I sell my team? Mate, if you haven't sold your team yet, what are you doing? Honestly, what are you doing? Everyone's known about Team of the Season for like two months and players have just crashed. Like, I've said in every single video, without fail, sell your team if you haven't already. And if somehow you're a moron and you haven't listened to me or something and you still have a team with lots of expensive players, if you still have someone like Ronaldo, sell them. Sell them because they're just dropping and dropping and dropping every single day. You're losing value on that card. And you can just buy them back during Team of the Season. Or you can just buy some different players, like buy some new blue cards, do SBCs, just have fun with the game. Team of the Season is one of the funnest moments in FIFA because you have so many new fun cards to try out. Um, and it makes the game more interesting. You're not just using the same meta cards all the time. You're trying out also random players from different leagues, fitting them into teams, uh, doing SBCs, opening packs. It's a lot of fun. So make the most of it. Sell your team if for some reason you haven't already. But hopefully, if you've watched my videos and at least followed the advice I've given you, um, free of charge, I've just told you what to do. If, you, if you've followed what I've told you to do, which hopefully you have, you'll have sold your team over a month ago and you'll be sat on loads and loads of coins you'll be liquid because what's the main thing i've said in these videos you want to go into team of the season liquid and that means of course having the majority of the equity in your club in the form of coins if i back out right now you will see i'm now over a million coins for the first time in a while um, i'm gradually selling a lot of items from my club i did a video talking about team of the season preparation recently check it out it's one of the latest uploads on my channel but i'm going through i'm looking at um, not the major leagues because I'm still grinding them for the packs and making coins there, but the smaller leagues, I'm not doing those SBCs anymore. Like the Liga Nos, I go through, check all my silvers and everything, and I'm just gradually selling all of these types of cards that have good value. Um, I'm also just checking everything, consumables, like all these position changes, some of them are really, really valuable. Uh, I'm selling a lot of the squad fitnesses. I'm selling like 200k worth of them now, so I'm always selling these on chemist styles as well things like anchor hawk and of course hunter catalyst and shadow they're really really valuable and they all sell so i'm selling everything like that and just trying to clear out my club and get rid of the the huge amounts of consumables and just random stuff there i want to have about 1.5 to 1.6 million hopefully going into team of the season um there are a few big players i want to buy um just to try out just to have some fun i want to work work towards building like a, a man city team of the season team because most of their players will get blue cards fernandinho is one i really want has an upgrade over kante and just because i really like him as a player in real life anyway um team of the season bernardo silva as well i, I really want to get my hands on um and then a team of the season left back too from the premier league probably digne um just because i don't like robertson hopefully he gets a team of the season card anyway i hope digne does given that statistically he's been the best left back in the premier league this season but as you can see here i'm just selling all these cards on which you don't need to watch but yeah clear out your club and just be liquid going into team of the season you don't want to be sat on loads and loads of uh, of players you want to have a lot of coins that is a very very important thing so again looking here I'm just selling lots of cards. I, I really made the most of the marquee matchups and sold a lot of players for a lot of coins. Um, they've now kind of come to, come back down a little bit in price, but I was selling my Eredivisie players. I was selling my um, like Barcelona players and everything, and I was making a ton of coins. Now I don't know why, but silver players have crashed. Silver players have crashed. This guy is normally like five or six k, and he's now very cheap. Um, so yeah, silver players seem to be down a lot, which is good if you want to do SPCs. Uh, I just want to check the 85 market. It's also very low. Like literally everyone's just really low right now. So 
yeah, make sure that um, you're just getting as many coins as possible together, really, for team of the season, and you should be good. We're already starting to sell some cards there. I just sold something. Yeah, some fitness cards, so that's decent. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks to Aniba for sponsoring me. You can check them out down below. They will be sponsoring a lot of my future videos um, uh, over the next uh, month or so because I need some money before I go to Thailand. If you guys didn't know, I'm going to Thailand in early June for about a month or so, so the videos will slow down then, but... I mean, FIFA will be fairly dead by then anyway. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you later. Take care.